Finally, I got the filter for the camera, got a haircut, got all the lights, removed this garbage from the backdrop, and it's time for a Q&A. And the first question comes from Jane the Jubilant. Ooh, I love a Q&A, especially from you, winky face. Are there any fragrances or fragrance notes which negatively affect you, like make you sneeze or tickle your nose? And would you ever consider doing some fragrance challenge videos? So let's start from the easy part. The challenge videos, yeah, why the hell not, right? <laughs> Might as well. I didn't think about them, but uh, if you people want, like maybe you could suggest what kind of a challenge do you want? It's just that I haven't thought about it much before and I don't know what exactly I would do there. As in, what type of fragrance challenge would I do? I could be probably guessing the prices of fragrances or maybe thinking of what house has the fragrance or I don't know, something to that end probably. It would probably expose me as someone who doesn't know that many fragrances out there since I have been kind of out of the loop for at least the past year since I've been focusing on completely different areas of perfumery. And as for fragrances and notes that negatively affect me, the first thing that comes into my mind is for sure musk ketone, muscanone, I think cosmone, these powdery musks that really remind me of the smell of grandmas, of baby powder. They're powdery, they are somewhat animalic. To me personally, they smell like farts and in high concentrations, they definitely cause a headache in me. And the problem is, I don't think anyone else experiences them as a farty smell and uh, a lot of the people really enjoy it. So I guess I'm stuck with having to smell it. Some of the fragrances that do have it, for sure, uh, let me take one. Serge Luton's Ambre Sultan. It smells amazing. I love how it smells, but it has that overpowering underlying musk that I hate. The review will come at some point. Another material that I absolutely despise is dihydromersinol. In large quantities, it really, really annoys the hell out of me. So Irish tweed, cool water. And a fragrance that I personally own with this kind of a vibe is Trenui by Armaf. And uh, uh, I absolutely despise it. I hate it with passion. Huh. It is definitely in F tier. Um, I was considering just throwing it out. I'm not sure if I'll do a review, but yeah. The next question comes from the user normally known as T. I can't believe your bottle is unopened. Talking about Delors. I am considering opening it. For the Q&A, outside of fragrances, what's the worst smell you've experienced? Are there any weird smells you really like? Outside of fragrances, what's the worst smell? There is a particular smell that really affects me a lot. And it's a weird one. So buckle in. Um, my grandmother, she has chicken, right? She makes food for them. She takes all of the organic garbage that has accumulated. Usually it's potato peels, apple peels, not bad things, but when she mixes them together and cooks them, oh God, I hate the smell. I get legit headaches from that. <laughs> I just cannot stand it. Whenever I smell it, I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Funnily enough, she herself hates the smell of perfume. So it kind of goes both ways. She hates my stuff. I hate her food for chicken. And as for weird smells that I like, I would say, you know, I like goats. I like the smell of goats because it really reminds me of my childhood. So at my grandparents' house, they were very religious. Um, we had a spot for prayers and they also owned goats, quite a few of them actually. And um, there was this spot, right, where you would put your knees and pray. And on that spot, we always had this goat hide 
which I really, really liked <laughs> for some godforsaken reason. I really liked this goat hide. It had this nice, slightly animalic, but kind of, uh, you know, goaty smell. A question from Joe Green, 5564. Hey, that was quick. You keep mentioning this project you're working on. Can you tell us more about it? And have you ever considered making some fragrance challenge videos? So I already answered the fragrance challenge video part. I haven't considered, but I could as well make one, right? Or a few, if you are really into them. As for the project I'm mentioning once in a while, I really didn't want to talk about it much, but I guess it's as good a time as any. Um, it's still not finished. It's a web page that I'm working on for perfumers. Uh, there's a problem currently, at least in more indie perfumery, which is there is this website called The Good Sense Company, and it is a repository of basically all information on every ingredient that you would ever need as a perfumer or flavorist. The problem is, right now it's kind of broken. And the owner, the creator of that website, they have died. A couple of years ago, actually. And um, it doesn't seem that it will be fixed anytime soon. I actually have made a somewhat of a fix, for the visuals at least, because they have been broken for a while now. But it doesn't fix the search functionality. And I thought, if nobody has picked it up for two years now, why not create it by myself? And I'm working on that and it is taking quite a bit of my time. I've decided to make it more future-proof than it should be, uh, and it has been a mistake, but I'm, I've gotten so far, so might as well continue because later on there are some more things that I want to build upon it um, and make indie perfumery a much more easy thing and to make perfumery much more accessible to anyone um, because why the hell not? I don't like the fact that the big companies are kind of monopolizing the whole sphere of perfumery. And I really want the small guys, guys, I guess, kind of like me, to get everything they need for a fair price or for free in this case. And uh, yeah, I want to make an impact in the perfumery industry more than become a fragrance influencer. Next question comes from Liam GD4QI. Hope it's okay to ask something a bit different, but I'd be really interested in your response. Let's say you come home and catch a whiff of a funny smell. How would you react? I would definitely be annoyed. There have been cases like that actually, but let's continue the question. Would you need to find it or would you just try and cover it up? I would want to find it and fix it as soon as possible because I'm the type of person who when I see something wrong it just gets into my head and it just keeps spinning and it keeps going and I keep ruminating on that thing and I can't stop myself until I fix this. Uh, it's actually a problem that I have oftentimes but in, it applies here. You can't find it and the smell gets worse. How would you go about locating the source? Oh, it rhymes. Um, I would probably close my eyes and try to figure out where the smell comes from. Thankfully, we have two nostrils and it does give us a kind of a directional ability in smells. You know, we kind of know in which direction the smell goes. So I would probably do that and focus on the source of the smell. How much would it annoy you? Depends on the smell. If it is actually annoying, if it's actually bad, then uh, I would be pretty annoyed. And uh, do I have stories about me having to sniff around for the source of a strange smell? There was a case where I was going through the corridor to my studio, which is here. And in that corridor, I store a lot of perfumery materials that I own and something smelled funky like really funky like poop kind of funky and uh, i wasn't really sure on what's going on and it turns out that well i knew it but i kind of forgot about it i have bought scatol which is a molecule that literally smells like poop and uh, it is really strong and even at a closed bottle it still kind of leaks out the smell. And uh, previously I have 
closed it down as much as I could. I put it in a box, I put a bag over the box and then I put another bag on top of it and uh, it didn't smell that much afterwards, right? But I did take it out once and I just kind of didn't fully seal the second bag, I guess, and the smell was just leaking out. And uh, the fix was super easy. I just closed it off completely and aired out the corridor and it it's fine. Another case is in my car. I was driving uh, a pile of garbage, old clothes from my garage to a site where I can just drop it off, right? Pay and, you know, they sort it out for you. Some of the clothes, they had some fluids in them, some of the bags with the clothes and uh, it kind of leaked out. And thankfully, I have a bus that has linoleum, uh, you know, floor. I was searching for the source so much. It smelled so goddamn bad. Um, it came to a point where I just removed the whole linoleum, you know, um, carpet and had to replace it. I tried to cover it up with some fragrances. It was an intensely animalic smell, I can tell you that. So I tried some amber eve perfumes and it didn't quite work out. So thankfully it doesn't smell now, but it was horrible. And the next question comes from the lady Cleo. Uh, and the question is, have you had any funny or embarrassing reactions to fragrances you're wearing? I think the funniest or the most embarrassing reaction was probably due to um, Delore. People just don't like it. <laughs> People just kind of hate it. Um, what else? There was a time where I was wearing Oud by Aaron Terrence Hughes and uh, a colleague of mine said, oh, that's a super nice fragrance for women. And then he realized that it's on me. And then, well, I'm his team lead. So it was kind of awkward a bit, but it's, it's fine. You know, like I don't care. And have you ever had any funny or embarrassing reactions to fragrances others are wearing? Looking forward to your answers. Usually I'm quite tolerant to all kinds of smells out there. Even, even this, if it's on a different person, it doesn't smell that bad. It just smells really bad when I'm up close. I think there was one situation, but it wasn't me reacting. It was someone reacting to my fragrance that I made and they immediately just washed it off. So that's an embarrassing reaction, um, I guess for me, but uh, doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. What's that smell? Asks piss direction laughing emoji. Has your nose improved since you first got into fragrances? Yes, for sure, but there's a caveat. Are there any fragrances that you smell everywhere? I definitely smell everywhere, well, a lot of the places, you know, still the sauvages. I still smell um, quite a bit of just white clean musks, quite a bit of ambery spicy molecules like Amber Max, Norlimbanol, stuff like that. Mm. As for specific fragrances, oh yeah, Baccarat Rouge, how could I forget that? Anytime I go to an event that's a bit more fancy, I always, without fail, can smell it on someone, somewhere. And what are my least favorite fragrances? I definitely dislike the most basic fragrances out there. Like, I would say 70% of designers I will probably kind of not like. You know, they're fine, you can wear them, but it's more like I'm not really enjoying them if it makes sense. So another fragrance that I absolutely hate is Chopard's Black Incense Malaki. And Kuros by Yves Saint Laurent. This smells to me like a really animalic, but in a bad way, headache inducing, um, ambery fragrance, I guess. I think this is distasteful. My girlfriend kind of likes it though. Weird. And the other one is Kuros, which it is supposed to be a masterpiece. Yes, it has a lot of history. Yes, but I don't like how it smells. It smells old. It smells, uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. As for the nose, um, I don't think it has become 
better at picking up smells, as in it hasn't become more sensitive, but I definitely have gained a lot more ability to understand what exactly is it that I'm smelling or articulate what type of molecule it is that I'm sensing. And to be honest, it's not just a straight upwards trajectory because I used to do a lot more training for the nose. I used to train a lot on different types of raw materials. Now I don't really do it that much. So my ability has gone down a bit because obviously I'm focusing on other things. I'm focusing on uh, software mostly right now. And uh, I kind of just, you know, lost the edge there. So yeah, it has become better, but it has been better as well. Uh, hopefully it will get even better because I do plan on making my own perfumes commercially at some point, hopefully. And there's another question from Jane the Jubilant, uh, which is, you know, I've been loving this series, but could I ask that you edit your videos a bit less? It's really nice in a video to see you get your nose on the fragrance you're talking about. Hope it's okay to say. Of course it's okay to say. My reasoning though is I don't want to waste your time. So I'm cutting out all of the ums, as, all of the repeat thoughts that I just keep mulling over. I cut out a lot of what I record and I think it is just good practice in general. Um, maybe I'm overdoing it and yes, maybe I am. Uh, I will keep attention to that. I'll definitely try to edit a bit less or in a bit of a less obvious manner. But I still think that your time is irreplaceable, same as mine. So I'm trying to find a good balance between me editing a video and you spending time on that video watching. Uh, I try to make it as enjoyable as possible while also kind of not spending too much of my time on yeah, on the videos. Actually, you know what? This, I will not review it. I will straight put it into the F tier now. Jesus Christ. Ugh. All right, so Arm After Nuit, easily F tier. But actually, I might as well revisit how I name these tiers because this is too generic, I think. Let's see. S tier would probably be life changing. A tier is excellent. B tier, really good. C tier would be just okay. D tier, I would say mediocre. E tier, disappointing. And then the F tier, get rid. <laughs> just get rid of it, right? Given that, there are some changes I want to make. I think this goes up quite a bit. It's funny, but I think it is okay. It's, a, it's an okay smell. And the Delure, I definitely for sure don't want to get rid of it. So I will have to move it somewhere as well. Disappointing. This is annoying. Bad. I guess it's just bad. Is the lore really good? No. Excellent? No. Is it okay? No. Mediocre? No. And is it bad? It's not bad either, I don't think. So, so it's really hard to put it. I think I will put it at life-changing because it did change my life quite a bit. It is at the very end of life-changing though. This is really bad, don't get me wrong, but it is life-changing. So I guess it will stay at the very far end of life-changing because it is just annoyingly bad, but I feel like it has to be there after all. All right, I guess that's where we're at. It certainly has been fun. Huge thanks for the questions. Huge thanks for the support. I cannot stress it enough. I love you guys. You're amazing. Thank you for supporting me. Um, there will be more to come. I do have some better video ideas as well. Um, it's just right now I want to deploy my website first. And there will be more to come for sure.